This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create these sticker designs using a logo or any vector object that you'd like. And as you can see here in this lesson, I will be using the YouTube logo as an example. So I'm going to go over here and open up my new document. As you can see, I have my logo set right there. Obviously, you can do this with whatever logo you'd like or any grouping of vector objects that you'd like. Either way, once you have your object determined, go ahead and click and drag over it like that and just make sure you have everything grouped together by going to Object group. And I want to move this up here and I want to create a duplicate copy of this. So I'm going to click and drag and then hold alt and take this duplicate copy and move it down here. Now what I want to do with this duplicate copy is I want to make this into a compound path. So I'm going to go to object, compound path and select make. And now I want to make this white because it's going to be the padding around the sticker design. So to do that, I just want to move this off of the canvas so I can see it once I do that. I'm just going to make this white. If you don't have your color picker over here, you can just choose the color from this menu right here, this fill color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the original logo and put this on top of it. Now, if you notice, by default, it should be lowered beneath there. I'm just going to raise it to the top by pressing Control, Shift, and the right bracket key. And then I just want to select both of them. You can just select both of them like that. Click on the white one right there to make that the key object that will be aligned relative to and then just center that up on the vertical and horizontal axis like that. And then I want to hold shift and click on the logo on top to deselect it. And once you do that, only the logo on the bottom should be selected as indicated by this white fill box right here. And once you do that, you just go to object path and select offset path. And if you notice, you have these options over here for offsetting your path. You have miter, round and bevel. I have mine already set to 12 pixels because that's what I was doing in the, when I was setting up the thumbnail for the video. Uh, but you could triple click this and, and use your mouse wheel to increase and decrease it by rolling like that. I'm going to put this right about here. Now if you notice the joins, if you make this miter, it gives it like squared corners. If you make this bevel, it gives it squared off corners like that. And then if you make it round, it gives it like a nice rounded sticker sort of look like that. So. I'm going to leave that as it is. Maybe make this a little smaller. That looks good. I'll click OK. And now what you could do is you can give this a drop shadow by going to Effect, Stylize, and select Drop Shadow. Now if you notice, I have these presets already set over here. For the, for the mode, I'm using Multiply, 40%, 3 pixels, 3 pixels, 2 pixels, and the color is black. Go ahead and click OK. And now I just want to click and drag over everything and group it together by going to Object, Group. Now let me move back up here, put this back on the artboard. And as you can see, we have a nice little sticker design. And you can make this look like a, a little stack of stickers by duplicating it. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. I'm going to hold Alt and roll up the mouse wheel a couple of times. I'm going to select the object right here, click and drag, and then hold Alt. It's going to create a duplicate like that. And maybe I'll give this one a little bit of a rotate just to make it look natural like that. And create another copy by Alt clicking it like that. Maybe I'll rotate this one around like that. And then maybe I'll make one more of these. And then I'll rotate this around. And there you go. As you can see, we have a nice little stack of stickers right there. So that is how you can go about taking a logo or any vector object for that matter and turning it into a sticker design using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.